Hi guys, this is Amardeep Srivastav and uh, this is the continuation of uh, concept through question series on my channel, Get UPSC Simplified. And this question is, uh, you can say that it is a moderate plus level question. This is not an easy question, but uh, it will take some time if you if you are uh, not uh, acquainted with such type of problem. This is a topic which I have selected is vector calculus. And in this question, it is given that there is a, there is a vector f whose value is equals to r to the power n, r to the power n, and vector r <clears throat> into vector r and it is also given that vector f is solenoidal vector what do you mean by the term solenoidal vector is that solenoidal vector means if we will take the divergence of that vector vector field it will comes to zero so the only information in this question is given that <clears throat> the vector field f is a solenoidal vector okay now in this question they have they have ask the value of n that is we will have to calculate the value of n <clears throat> now let's suppose that r is a three dimensional vector <clears throat> i am supposing or i am assuming that vector r is a unit times three dimensional vector that is x unit vector i plus y unit vector j plus z unit vector k if r is this <clears throat> If vector r is this, then what is the value of magnitude of r? Magnitude of r is written as r or you can say that magnitude of vector r which is equals to root under x square plus y square plus z square. This is the magnitude of the vector given in the, in the problem. We have vector f equals to r to the power n into vector r. <clears throat> now we will have we have the condition given is that divergence of that vector field is equals to zero <clears throat> that is del by del x <clears throat> unit vector i plus del by del y unit vector j plus del by del z unit vector k divergence with that is dot product with <coughs> vector f okay what is vector f vector f is r to the power n into vector r now <coughs> on solving this dot product what we will get as as r is what r is x unit vector i plus y unit vector j plus z unit vector k <clears throat> let's put this function inside let's operate with the dot product given we will get as del by del x r to the power n x plus del by del y r to the power n into y plus del by del z r to the power n into z <clears throat> This is the required dot product or required divergence of the given vector. Okay. Now, what you will get on solving this equation, that is the partial differentiation of this form will be r to the power n into 1 plus <clears throat> n r to the power n minus 1 del r by del x plus similarly for the y factor and z factor what you will get r to the power n plus n r to the power n minus 1 into del r by del y <coughs> plus r to the power n plus n into r to the power n minus 1 into del r by del z is equals to 0 we will get the following we will get the required result on partially differentiating the, the required divergence of the vector field given okay now you can see that in this equation you can take common that is r to the power n factor is in all the three sectors and also n r to the power n minus 1 is also available in all the parts of the given divergence of the vectorial field so on taking the common factor what we will get as expression is that if you will take 
if you will take r to the power n r to the power n r to the power n it will become 3 r to the power n as it is in addition plus n r to the power n minus 1 i am taking common n r to the power n minus 1 <coughs> what we will be left left out with n r to the power n n minus 1 is common with these three we will left out with so sorry if you have taken the del r by del x then there will be some <coughs> there will be a factor x y and z will be there okay if we will take taking the common n r to the power n minus 1 what we will get as x <coughs> del r by del x plus y del r by del y plus z del r by del z <coughs> is equals to 0 what we have missed here is that we have missed <coughs> the x x value y value and z value okay now we have the this equation in our hand how to solve this equation let's say we will have to find the value of n so we will have to take the factor n in our consideration so this is the extra factor which we have to eliminate or we will have to replace with <coughs> with r an r to the power n factor so you can say that this equation can be written as this is equals to zero either this zero or this product zero r to the power n minus one cannot be zero so this factor we will take as a zero so what we will get as as we know that r that is vector r vector r is equals to what x unit vector i plus y unit vector z plus z unit vector k <coughs> r square r that is magnitude of r will be root under x square plus y square plus z square so r square will be x square plus y square plus z square okay now i will differentiate partially with respect to x y and z this equation okay then on differentiating partially if i will i will differentiate with respect to x <clears throat> what you will get is that 2r del r by del x is equals to 2x 2 to cancel out what you will remain with is that del r by del x is equals to x by r similarly if you will solve for y you will get del r by <coughs> del y is equals to y by r similarly for the z factor you will get del r by del z is equals to z by r <coughs> on replacing these all three component with this what you will get as 3 r to the power n plus n r to the power n minus 1 if if this is equated with 0 that is this factor i will have to fill with by replacing these all the term if you will fill with this factor what you will get x into x by r i am putting these three value in this part plus y into y by r plus z into <coughs> z by r is equals to 0 that is x square plus y square plus z square by r is equals to 0 so what is the value what is <coughs> x square plus y square plus z square by r this is what this is magnitude of r square by r so you can replace the entire function that is this function you can replace it with r so now rewriting the following term what you will get as 3 r to the power n plus <coughs> n r n minus 1 plus n r n minus 1 into r is equals to 0 similarly what you what you will get as the result is 3 r to the power n plus n r n minus 1 into r is 3 r to the power n is equals to 0 if you will take common r to the power n what you will get 3 plus n which is equals to 0 okay <clears throat> now on equating you will get n equals to minus 3 so you for solving such type of problem it's it will take some time this is a question asked in i think in 
issue previous year or some some exam like that and such type of problem you will have to you don't need to solve so much in complex form you will have to remember this expression that r to the power n into vector r for solenoidal field is given then n will come as minus 3 <clears throat> if similarly if you have given any factor like you can say that vector f is equals to in exam if they asked r to the power minus n into vector r what is the value of n then simply if n is equals to minus 3 then simple minus n will be equals to 3 plus 3 so you can compensate like this they can also frame question like vector f equals to r to the power minus 5n r to the power 5n into vector r so you can also replace minus 5 n equals to uh, minus 3 so n equals to 3 so you can compensate like this you need not to remember all the steps you need not to solve all the steps also I, I would like to mention here is that for this you can also apply homogeneous function of degree 1 that is the homogeneous Euler's method you can also apply by through Euler's method but I am assuming that you haven't read about the homogeneous function yet so I have solved it through the vectorial method if you can if you have read Euler's method then you can also solve it like that x del r by del x plus y del r by del y plus z del r by del n is simply n r <clears throat> what is n you have to calculate what is r you know that, that the vectorial that the vector part which is given in the question so this is the this is a very good question i think it is a very good question and this question can be asked in esc prelims or also in mens or even for civil services examination mens for mathematics optional so you can see this type of question this is very important question if you want to connect me and um, then you can join my telegram channel or also you can follow me on different uh, you can also join my group of on with the same name get you simplified thank you